brands are now coming face to face with people's friends as their competitor. So when you're competing with people's friends, you really have to be coming out with great content, uh, deep stories, experiences, uh, and you need to be building up connections over time which become of high value uh, for the brand and create uh, that deeper relationship. I think whatever channel you're doing it through, this, it's, it's a challenge to make people feel like you're talking to them, um, understanding their behavior, um, understanding what they really need. So our research has shown really clearly that there's a really distinct difference between what people buy, what they believe they do with their devices, and what they actually do, three very different things. And I think we need to close that gap, and we have an opportunity to do that through, through the more sort of individual review in terms of what people are actually doing and selling them something that they know is really what they need. It wasn't that many years ago where the path to purchase was phenomenally linear. You went from one stage to another stage in a very predictable order. Uh, now that path to purchase is anything but linear. There are many, many more places and opportunities that uh, uh, brands have in order to influence that purchase. Um, so it's becoming more complex to understand which is the key point um, of uh, maximum leverage um, in uh, that path. And that's very much going to change from brand to brand, from uh, customer um, shopping mission uh, to shopping mission. I think the consumer um, has very high expectations of brands. I think that expectation is just ever increasing of what they expect in terms of the dialogue a brand has with them. So I think for brands, you've got to be more relevant. I think you've got to listen to that consumer more and react to, to what you're learning. And there's definitely more of the emphasis on real-time communications. And I think that is a challenge for brands because traditionally they haven't been set up to, to kind of market in that way. Consumers have started expecting a lot more personalization in the kind of way we communicate to them. And the way we're trying to do this is uh, one, uh, through the use of programmatic buying. So we are using a lot more programmatic buying and profiling of consumers. So we can target our messaging to different profiles of consumers. And the second thing is through content. So we're doing a lot more in terms of content development. Uh, earlier, we would use a lot more traditional media. And that's moving a lot more into content as well.